Hello guys, it's Pep from Pep back at it again and today we are here with another request so some of you asked for a Shiranui deck and I don't know but maybe for those who are subscribed to the channel from since a lot of time uh, they already know that I actually ate Shiranui uh, I've never played them because I never had them and I never did want to invest in in their cards but in the last month I had to uh, invest my gems because I was not interested in any of the new cards that we got since the infinite ray box so um, we had a couple of mini box and a couple uh, actually only one mm, uh, main box and I did not invest in them, so as you can imagine, I had a lot of gems that were going to expire and I decided to invest them into my Regeki break. And for all who do not know what this means, I got a bunch of Shiranui cards because the Regeki break is the one of the ultra rare that, um, we can, that you can find in the Shiranui mini box. So I ended up with a lot of Shiranui cards and you asked me, uh, for a Shinami deck and here we are let's go let's jump right into the deck list of course guys if you enjoy the content please leave a like and subscribe I really appreciate it and it really helps me a lot let's go so we have basically all trap cards so I um, it was pretty easy to me to build this one because I have basically all the staples I have all the staples so I'm um, an old player I play since the, the first release so I uh, actually have accumulated all the um, the best trap cards I actually miss only Bedham and and it will it will be a card that maybe I will get in the future uh, as long as we do not get any other card trap the trap card that can be better but there you go I know it's Totally expensive, but this is how you play Shiranui. They are a lot, we have a lot of one card combo and then a bunch of traps. So, of course, um, I'm gonna play only one Shiranui Solitaire. I just think one it's enough, and I like to play one Shiranui Sun Saga. Um, triple Spectral's worth, but the combo that I love the most is the Needle Ceiling together with the Archfiend Zombie School. So I'm not gonna lie to you, this Archfiend Zombie School was actually in another box in Curse of Dread, that is another box that I never opened, but when I was trying to build Shirani, I felt like this was needed. So I actually opened a couple of packs in order to get this, that is just a rare card, so uh, it was not much of a deal. And boom, there you go. Of course, the optimized version um, will see another Gazuki, but I only have two. So if you have another Gazuki, definitely play a third Gazuki and two Samurai Skull. But they basically have the same effect. And there are very few situations in which you will be able to use Gazuki's effect, the same Gazuki's effect twice in a duel. So this is actually pretty good. Then we have Triple Ballista Squad, one of the characteristic cards of the Shiranui archetype because, you know, you want to have your, you want to have your Shiranui Spectre Squad in the grave and actually Ballista Squad is the perfect, you know, uh, card to put in the grave and it's a minus one to your opponent, you just pop a monster, a spell card, a spell try back row, um, so it's really really useful it's as versatile as regeki break but of course having a having a monster on the field it's a requirement that is a little bit you know uh, uh, I think it's tough you know you cannot predict if you will have a monster on the field while while you will always have a card in your hand for regeki break and as you can see and as you can imagine Triple Regeki Break and Triple Ballista Squad is simply insane. This cog, this deck is definitely cog worthy. It's an easy cog worthy, and it will be, I think, it will always be. And then we have a triple Fiendish Chain, but right here you just need, you know, a good, another good staple. And Fiendish Chain, in my opinion, is one of the best ones. 
uh, I kind of don't like the um, the floodgate because we have basically our main combo is bringing out the Shogun Saga and Shogun Saga wants to target a monster on the field um, Sh Shogun Saga sorry wants a monster face up on the field to you know to be able to inflict lethal damage so that's the thing and just a couple of little ceiling because tr tree can be breaky actually um, because keep in mind that Needle Ceiling can be activated only if there are four monsters on the field, at least four monsters. Then we have nothing. Keep in mind, um, keep in mind those effects like the second effect of Samurai Skull that when it's when he leaves the field because of a card effect, uh, you get to special summon a level four or lower zombie monster from your deck. Keep in mind that, while the second effect of Gazugi will never be used. Uh, it's the one that lets you special summon a monster from your hand from your hand when he is sent to the to the grave, but not that useful. For the extra deck, just of course one Arch of Zombie Skull is enough. A couple of Shirai Samurai Saga, a couple of Shogun Saga, only one Sun Saga because of the as you can see right here, the um uh, the limited to solitaire, and then I put actually a, a squire saga, but I Oh, I cannot be able to summon it, so you can definitely put this out and uh, put in another, for example, Shogun Saga, or you can use a. Um, uh, I don't think we have actually the other zombie type monster that we can use. Maybe if you have it, you can use a second Archive in Zombie School, it can be definitely a good option. I only have one, so I think I'm gonna go this way. And guys, of course. As you can see, Endless Trapel is simply insane, so you can use this deck uh, uh, as a stool deck as well. So, you can basically, when you have at least 6 or 7 trap cards in your graveyard, you can just go with Endless Trapel, plus 1 to your hand, and all the other traps are shuffled back into your deck, so you can just, you know, stall your opponents out with a bunch of traps, and this deck can definitely still say something in this meta so i hope whoever asked me for the uh for this deck is happy um even if it's expensive but you know this is shiranui so i guess we can jump right into the replays here we go my boys interrupting a nine win streak so Let's see what we got. Our Shinori deck is ready. We just one trap in the first turn at Divine Wrath. So I actually, you will see, um, I actually tried to switch among Divine Wrath and Finish Chain. So you can just use uh, wh whatever you, you've got uh, among your cards. And there you go. He started with the Thunder Dragon, with the Thunder Dragon arc that was negated by my Divine Wrath. And. It's not over yet. This Thunder Dragon deck has something to say still. Boom. First turn, Levianir to pop both. Uh, to, um, to pop my Kazuki and then to. He um, attributed the, the Thunder. Uh, the, the Chaos Dragon Levianir to set. Uh, of course, it is a Thunder Dragon Dark. We are chilling because now in the grave we have the both the Spectral Swords we sent with Kazuki and the, um, the Solitaire that we discarded with Divine Wrath so we can go into our full combo, there you go the Archifin is here and then Samurai Skull to send another Spectral Sword and Shiranui Samurai Saga is here so it was not a Dragon Dark but was a Dragon Roar it's still fine so thanks to the Archifin keep in mind that we are safe from an eventual, an eventual effect of Cast Dragon Levianir because our zombie type monster cannot be destroyed by battle. But it turns out he has a Dragon Roar with a um, sorry, Dragon Duo with a Dragon Roar. But I don't know why he didn't swing in. Um, there was actually no point in, in swinging, no swinging. I don't know why actually. Maybe he didn't want me to have a level 6 synchro in the grave so that in the next turn I would have been able to go into not a Sun Saga but a Shogun Saga. So that's why he didn't attack. But um, I went with the Samurai Skull. I have my Needle Ceiling set so you know what ab what's about to happen as soon as he summons. I'm gonna clear the field, actually only his field, and just wait for it, 
the best play needle sealing with Archfiend just clear them all he used it to cover up its dragon jewel but it was a bad move it could have actually covered um face down my archfiend's abyss cult so my monster would have been banished too or maybe not because you know of course if he had banished my my exam my archfiend zombie school then in the next turn i would have had a level six in the grave so you know it's difficult to play against Shin Army because they have so many options and that's why they were nerfed and that's why people hated them but any, anyway I had all to swing in but it still endures with that sphere Karibu but can he really turn things out? I don't think so. He used this Delevioneer to send a card in my hand to the deck because he knew there was no point in trying to destroy to destroy my monsters. Then a Lupine, and we're still playing. I I don't think that usually um, Thunder Dra Thunder Dragon duels last that much. So this is kind of kind of interesting to see. Level duplication in the turn eight never happened before. Boom! Castella telling me actually a good uh, option. Um, you know to face that and now he needs to keep my board uh, clogged so that I cannot summon anything Th that's his purpose and I got another ballista squad I just decided to wait because now I have my ballista squad to uh, to unclog my field then tell me um, to return his dragon living you to his end and then he can use it back again boom my Ballista squad is ready to get rid of Telemi and I just win for time limit guys but I was totally in control because now in the next turn I would have been able to go for another synchro summon and he has no chance. Second duel my boys against Duke Delhi. Set card, set monster and it's over. As you can see guys two duels uh, and we only got one drop in our starting end. That's pretty sick. So, Gozuki first turn is always a good thing though, so Gozuki and is a mirror match. We have the shade that I don't play, and then triple set in the end phase, just get rid of ones, and I just think I, I've chosen the best one to pick. There you go, another trap, we're chilling, then Samurai Skull to send the Solitaire, and we can go in the first Synchro Summon from the Grave. But Floodgate says no thank you. And see, because we play Ballista Squad, we do not have to worry about Floodgate because we can always chip this thing up with our Ballista Squad. That's the thing. So he has a Spectre's Ward right now, but he needs a non tuner monster that uh, currently he did not have. There you go, the Ballista Squad we were looking for. Boom, another Wall of D. And it was actually a pretty good one because he put all my monsters to zero, then Ballista Squad to tribute the um, the floodgated one to get rid of another another good trap void trapple and then first of all boom we have two level four plus samurai spectros shirani spectros worth level 10 he's here sun saga forbidden lens is actually useless right here i've already won and i didn't even need the effect of course of spectros worth he knew it and he scooped this was my rank up duel and was interrupting a, a, a 5 win streak. So first turn, a, a scroll and a couple of sets, Regeki break and finish chain, so we're chilling. Gagaga sister, I just let him flow, um, then automat apply to make all the Gagaga bolts come come back to the deck, so I think I made a good, a good choice actually. Um, then do do the draw so this was actually this is actually one of the turn one deck boom uh, it got the hatronade and I had to use my regeki break to get rid of the gagaga sister then gagaga win he has still something to say bringing back the onomatopoeia and then no xc summon just going um, just bringing in and I'm fine with that because I have both my Spectros Ward and, and my Solitaire in the grave. So this means that my Synchro Summon is ready. Solitaire bringing out the Spectros Ward and one turn Shogun Saga with 
5500 attack. Kicking in Book of Moon, avoiding his defeat. I have a finish chain set, so Gaga Bolts to get rid of that and then. Uh, go swinging in, a, in another Spectros board, what did you think it could be? So why did you swing it? Uh, I mean, maybe it was a good choice because in the next one I could, I can actually, I could actually flip up both. Maybe, maybe it was a good option. But anyway, Spectros board from the grave. It's always the same story. And now my monster cannot be destroyed by card effects thanks to the Archfiend. Samurai Skull to send another Spectros board to the grave. And there you go, kicking in this time Book of Moon. It's not enough. I can just swing in with the other one, and now that he yeah, only has one card in hand, he really cannot do anything. Gaga sister to go to look for the Gaga Bolt, and there's no point because if he destroys my Shogun Saga, I will be able to summon Sun Saga the next turn, and that's why he surrendered. Last but not least, my fourth win in a row against the new deck. Arpies, let's see what we got. So we got a couple of set cards and both Gozuki and Samurai's Cold. So starting with the Gozuki and we already insured a Spectre's board in the grave. We're chilling. Let's see what we got. So Arpies hunting around to to break my Regeki break. I decided to to chain it and he chained the Forbidden Land. So perfect counter. And then nothing else to go into uh, his Synchro Summon, so we're definitely chill chilling. And I don't know why, I know, I, I know, I knew actually, because he couldn't attack because with, because of Forbidden Lands, he had, she had, this uh, little Harpy Harpist had um, her attack lower it, so I get to use my uh, Godzugi again and to send the Solitaire, and then boom, Spectre's Wood from the Grave, banishing herself and the solitaire to bring out an archfiend zombie skull so solitaire's effect and boom samurai saga is here and then numa summon another spectres word shogun saga oh my lordy what is happening here my lordy what is happening kamakat to get rid of the shogun saga but i still have my archfiend and then in the end phase, Harpy Harpy's effect, but we have a finish chain. So let's see what we got. Now look at this. What happened was that the effect of Harpy Perfumer activates after the effect of the field spell. So if I chain my finish chain, it actually has a meaning. Because my finish chain will negate Harpy Perfumer's effect before being popped that's insane of course on my side not on his side so no effect for him actually really unlucky and then again spectros brought from the grave oh my lordy forbidden lands but it's not enough uh of course it's enough to avoid defeat for that turn but i have needle ceiling right here so come on guys what are we talking about what are we talking about? Why people do not why people do not play Shiran? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I mean all the all the people that already played Shiran and that already have the the stable set, the whole stable set, there's no reason in not playing Shiran anymore. Uh, I mean maybe not for the second stage, because I know that second stage is about, you know, being quick and finish duel quickly. And maybe it's not the best option playing Shiranui, but come on guys, this deck is insane. So I hope um, all my explanation were clear. Uh, feel free to ask me whatever you want in the comment section down below. Thanks a lot for watching and as always, see you in the next one.